Aristotle said that quality is not an act, it's a habit. The quality of cigars begins right here. From sourcing the highest quality tobaccos to the craft of rolling our cigars, Fratello's biggest advantage is always the pride of the people of Dominican Republic and Nicaragua. They are proud of the hand they play when their country gets regarded as producers of the best cigars in the world. Growing up in the Dominican Republic was all about basketball. I've been playing basketball since I was 10 years old. Um, and it was, it was my life, it was all I wanted to do. All I wanted to do was go to the court, play ball. What was interesting before, um, as I was applying for you know, opportunities and jobs uh, while doing my MBA, um, NASA was recruiting at the University of Puerto Rico and uh, they, there were 400 plus candidates, people applying from all sorts of backgrounds. And uh, um, they were looking for two, two positions. Uh, one was a uh, engineer position in uh, Cape Canaveral, and another one was a management uh, analyst position in DC. And so when I had the opportunity to basically to apply, um, I went through about six, seven different interview process. I did roughly about um, uh, two trips to basically meet with the people who were gonna uh, be the selecting officials for this position. So had to do a lot of writing, a lot of information. There was a lot of background checks and uh, I was lucky enough to be one of those 400 people that was selected for this position at NASA um, back in 2004. And I got a message from a good friend of mine that uh, forwarded me the Stanford address by Steve Jobs. And he said, uh, and, and in his Stanford address, I saw something that connected incredibly with me. And it was, he said that the only way to do great work is to love what you do. I started trying to find out what was that one thing that I absolutely 100% loved. And the one thing that I've been doing since I was 17 years old is smoking cigars. The moment we launched Fratello was July 2013. Coming into a trade show like that, you're thinking, well, there's thousands of cigar shops. I produce well over 30,000 cigars at my first production. So I did a lot of research, obviously. Uh, coming from an agency like NASA, where we do research and development, that was my one thing. So I started reading every publication I could get my hands on. I started reading books. I started traveling to Nicaragua, Dominican Republic, Honduras, just doing research and trying to find out as much information as I possibly could about something that I knew nothing about. I just knew I loved smoking cigars, but everything about the process, everything about uh, the, the, the people, everything about the tobacco, everything about the agriculture of aspect of, of tobacco is uh, something that I had no idea what it was all about, but at least I did my research, I did my business plan, and I started the business in 2013. There is one thing that makes my day every single day is Every day I wake up or I, you know, open up social media or open up a website or, 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 or see someone smoking my cigar, that gentleman or that lady is giving us, you know, an hour, an hour and a half of their, of their lives. They spend their money to basically try something that we worked so hard to do. And so for me, the pleasure that that brings me and the level of happiness and pride is, is unmeasurable. about like, you know, complete industry takeover. I thought about, you know, I want my cigars and as many points of sales, but that's not, that's not what, that's not, that's not what it's all about for me. I, I would love to have my daughter walk around 30 years from now and bump into someone on the street, smoking a cigar, remind herself that her father did the exact same thing and he enjoys it hopefully still do, does by that time, um, but that the cigar that he or she is smoking is a Fratello, and that she feels pride that, uh, that we built something, that we built something great, something that, that will bring 
either joy or relaxation um, to a large number of people and that it translates into pride for her and for my son in the future.